Yo, how's it going, guys? So today, as you can see, I'm doing something different. It's called Would You Rather. And what this game is, it's basically, you've probably seen it before. It's you pick, um, like this, like, would you rather be near death or this? And you basically pick, and you see what the score is, like, what other people pick. So, yeah, I'm going to be playing this game today. And l let's just get right into it. Okay, would you rather be near death or have everything two minutes later? Well, be near death is basically like you're almost deaf and have here everything two minutes later that's kind of weird because if you're in like a like a group like if you're in a video call or something and you talk to your friend but it's on your phone or on the computer then you hear everything two minutes later and there could be an emergency so probably i'll pick ne near deaf because you can still hear but you're not completely deaf Oh shoot, let's go. 58 to 42. Okay, let's go to the next question. Okay, would you rather be Iron Man but have to leave the suit on at all times? Okay, that's pretty cool. Or be Hulk but have to stay in Hulk form at all times? Ooh, that's really good. Hulk, he's basically big and green and really strong, but he's really tall in a way so he can't maybe fit through doors but iron man you can literally like fly all the time like if you just want to fly you want to go outside and fly then you can do that so probably i want to pick iron man just because like and it's shorter and you just i guess look cooler so let's see let's go 77 to 23 oh that was a good one okay next one would you rather have to use a completely blank keyboard with absolutely no labeled keys or have to type with only your two index fingers at all time? Okay, the blue one, you gotta use a keyboard that has no letters, like it doesn't say, just normal keys. But this one, it's just, okay, but again, this one has two types with only your two index fingers at all the time. Well, it depends. If you're good at the keyboard and you don't have to look down at the keyboard, then you can obviously obviously pick this. But if you not not just memorize the keyboard, then you might have to pick this. But like you can't game or anything. You can't play Minecraft and like play PvP or, or something like that because it's only your index fingers and that you can't really you know do that much. But for this, for for me personally, I can choose this because I already kind of know all the keys. And I memorized them, so let's try this. Oh, 50-50, okay. Well, the real answer was, oh, well, this. Yeah, because not too many people, you know, agree with this. But as you can see, right here, that. And, yeah, so more people disagree. But it's fine because, you know, more people probably don't, won't memorize the keyboard as much as me. Okay, next one. Would you rather be forced to watch TV all the time or not watch TV at all. Well, I, to be honest, I mostly don't watch TV, like, all the time. I, I don't watch it. I just play on my computer, so technically that's not TV. But not watch TV at all, I would probably pick that. Other people would probably pick this one, but for me, I would just pick this. And, yep, 65%. Because right now, some people watch TV, but for me personally, and probably for other people that are not on the computer, don't watch it that much. Ooh, this is a good one. Would you rather snow for the rest of your life or rain for the rest of your life? This depends. Uh, again, snowing would be so fun. But again, you got to shovel the snow. Actually, yeah, you would have no school. Like, if you guys have school, you would have no school. And you can't get it out of your driveway. And every single day, you got to wake up, shovel the snow. But it would be tons of fun. And you would basically have no school. This rain for the rest of your life, again, it would be really wet. To drive a car, it would be really hard. Rain, I mean, to be honest, I kind of want no school, so I want snow, but it depends, of course. So I'm going to pick snow. Up oh, 59%, of course. Ooh, this is a good one. Have everyone talk to you. Would you rather, like a two-year-old, so everyone be, will be talking like a two-year-old and not having good common sense, like using like stuttering all the time and stuff but in a sarcastic tone that would be like oh yeah oh yeah i definitely got like a hundred on my math test like it will be you're not really gonna know what they're trying to say 
So for me, I guess, oh, that's really hard. Here, let's think like I'm other people. I'll probably, oh, that's really hard. Okay, in a sarcastic tone or like a two-year-old's. Um, you know what, let's just try a sarcastic tone. I'm not sure. Oh, let's go, 69%. Okay, I wonder when, yeah, probably not a two-year-old because everyone will be like messing up words. But sarcastic tone, you can, well, it's bad, but you know, it's fine. Oh, is it, this is a good one too. Would you rather be better looking in person, like look better in person and in, in, in real life, or be better looking in photos? In photos is mostly social media and stuff like Instagram and all those stuff but in person you kind of use in person more like for school and stuff so I would probably look better in person oh, oh six percent and 94 that is a big difference okay next one for the rest of your life would you rather drink the same thing or eat the same meal Oh, this is pretty good. Drink the same thing. It's just drinking. You know, you drink your favorite, I guess. Like for me, Capri Sun. But for meal, it's a little different. Like for meal, I like personally, me, it's my opinion, spaghetti meatballs. But I'll, I kind of would like it every single day. But at the same time, I really like Capri Sun. So maybe food because it just, it, it tastes better than Capri Sun. Just saying. And let's see what other people think. Oh, I got it wrong. Drink the same thing? It's really interesting. Uh, that was a weird problem. Let's get to the next. Okay, this just depends on what you like. Would you rather teach Spanish or teach math? Spanish is pretty good, but... And teach math is okay, but... Oh, this is a hard one, actually. It depends. So, yeah, Spanish, I guess a lot of people will have trouble because... You know, it's Spanish, and not too many people learn Spanish, but teach math. I'm personally good in math, and some other people will be good in math, but again, a lot of people struggle in math as much as Spanish. But to me, I would probably teach math. Oh, let's go 55% to 45%. All right, on to the next problem. Okay, a horde of 400 zombies is quickly approaching. Would you rather fight the zombies alongside a dragon? You are using your crossbow. So you would have a dragon on your side and fight the zombies along four gorillas you're like oh well an assault rifle is you can put it to automatic or semi of course automatic a crossbow but you get a dragon um i guess i would try to pick assault rifle just because it, it's automatic and well it depends how much ammo you have but for now i'm gonna pick an assault rifle Oh, 60% to 40. Actually, yeah, a dragon, I kind of, yeah. A dragon could probably just wreck all the 400 zombies. Oh, this one, everyone had. W would you rather walk across a mile of hot burning coals or walk a mile Legos? Okay, well, walk, acro uh, walk across a mile of hot burning coals. That's literally burning coals on your bare feet. Okay, or walk across a mile of Legos. I personally, I walked on Legos and it doesn't really hurt. But a mile of Legos? I would probably pick this, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yes. 19 to 81. That was a great one. Okay, guys. Well, this was a fun experience for me. And I hope it was a fun experience for you. So, guys, I'm going to end off the video here. And if you enjoyed this, which I really enjoyed, like, um, like the video, comment, and subscribe. And then I will surely do more of this because this really, really is like really fun because I really like this and I hope you guys like this. So I hope you guys have the best day of your life and see you guys.